Hello everybody, welcome to Leak to Wine TV. I'm your host, Mark Fusco. We're here for another edition of the show. Um, so I'm recording this kind of during lunchtime. And uh, I did yesterday's wine. That was August 31st. If I looked at my watch, I would have noticed that. Anyway, um, next month is 30 days, not this month. But, uh, or actually today is the September 1st, huh? So, um... <clears throat> We're doing uh, the Campus Oaks. Uh, since we're doing the Campus we're doing the two wines on Monday. And so this is today's show, Tuesday's show. Um, and lunch is uh, some polo sausage. I figured I'd pair it up with this Campus Oaks Zin. Like this Campus Oaks Zin is um, one of the wines that uh, we had had at the Scenic Loop Cafe wine tasting that was put on by Frank Bachelor and WD3 Wines. Um, so uh, this is the last of the wines that I received from them. And I remember really liking this wine, and uh, kind of parceled this in. So I uh, figured I would go ahead and do it. So here's the uh, here's the label. It's a Campus Oaks uh, Old Vine Zinfandel, 2007, from Lodi, California, and it's from the uh, the Neckow Family Wineries, and they're actually based in Collegeville, California, but the uh, they get their Grapes from Lodi, and um, they said that the average, on the website, the, the, the vines are an average age of 90 years old, and the back of the label says from 80 plus year old vines. So, um, it was, I remember it being a really good wine. And uh, let's check it out. It's, it's a little, little smell here, sniff. So I can smell the oak, but it's not too bad. Kind of a little vanilla-like, a little vanilla maybe, creamy. Now I'm really starting to get the fruits, some dark red fruits. It's opening up some more. So yeah, you're getting the dark red fruits and you get a little bit of the oak and you get a little bit of the alcohol. the alcohol is. I think it's on 14%. 14.5. 14 so it could be a little more. Maybe a little less, but it's coming through, but nothing, nothing too bad. Let's, uh, let's see how it tastes. out today. Um, it's tasty. It's really tasty. You can feel the tannins and um, it, it's it's kind of creamy. So you're getting the yolk coming through. Get a little bit of pepper out of it, so a little bit of spiciness. Um, this is good. I really like it. I think it's 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 a it's very well made, and um, it's got some good structure to it. I forgot to mention. Um, if you bought off the winery from the winery, it was fifteen dollars from the winery. I'll put the link below. Um, I don't know what it retails for necessarily, but it'll probably retail for around the same amount of money. It, it's pretty good. Let's see what they have to say about it. Uh, free forward nose of raspberries and cherry, followed by a jammy uh, mid range of mixed berries with a hint of vanilla wrapped in oak. What in the world? Egg. Whoa, okay, I don't know what that word is, but anyway, they said it has silky finish. You know, I agree with the silky finish part. You know, I'm getting the, I'm getting the dark red fruits, the berries. Um, I, like, I got the hint of vanilla, and, um, you know, it, it's good. I like it. So let's see how it pairs with, with the with the sausage. Got some sausage, string beans, got some carrots with some mustard sauce, like honey mustard type sauce. By the way, folks, mustard is the absolute best condiment ever in, 
ever created or, or discovered. Yeah, this is going to go real well with lunch. Um, Polish sausage, meet, meet up with that. That is some great stuff. I'm going to eat with the with the, the uh, cucumbers here. It's kind of a spicy honey mustard sauce. It's got a little, little bit of a red pepper in it. Wow, that goes really well with that. The, the vegetables pairing up with the fruitiness of it and the spiciness. And you got the green beans. I mean, it's all good stuff. I cannot wait to like finish this up so I can eat. Um, anyway, so uh, the uh, Lodi area is really known for its zins. And they plant other varietals, but it's really kind of zin country. And uh, not zen, but zin country. Uh, and it's like the central region or Central Valley, so it's it's really long. I mean, it stretches for for quite a while in California. So take the Central Coast, and you got the Central Region right next to it, just not on the coast. And uh, it's good. Let me give it a score. Man, it's got a little sweetness to it too. I'll give it an eighty-nine. It's really good like it a lot. Um, you're watching this today on Tuesday. Uh, I'm going to be uh, heading over to the Holiday Inn for a little tweet up. Uh, Robert Scoble. Scoble is coming to town. So uh, last time he was in town was a really good time. And um, that's it. Click the links. Friend me up. All that good stuff. You guys have a good day. Later.